Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, teacher. Hello, guys. How are Hello. you? Bye, thanks. Very good. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Great, great. Okay, we are 18 so far. We're still missing some of you. Remember, camera on and your full name on your description here. 21. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so let's start taking the attendance so we can move on. Okay, Ana Lidia Hernandez Perez. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodriguez Osorio. Carlos Jose Blanco de Leon. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth Hernandez Amaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dalia Lilibet Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dani Angelica Merlos Valle. Present. Thank you. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Stephanie Yamile Dayala Acosta. Fátima Karina Rodriguez Avalos. Present. Thank you. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Present. José Mario Hernández Santos. José Mario, no se nos ha unido aún. Ok. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. Acabo de incorporar Ticho de la Silvia. Good. Ok. Es Karen Stephanie Argueta Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Present. Thank you. Kenia Selina Castillo Franco. Present. Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Present teacher. Laura Carolina Mengíbar Argueta. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Present. Thank you. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Lorena, 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 Lorena. No está con nosotros aún. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Present teacher. Ok. Mario Ernesto. Da. Mary Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Mary Abigail. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Hola. Ahí está Ricardo. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Present, teacher. Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present, teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Present Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so, antes de continuar, recordarles, por favor, su avance en la plataforma es muy importante. Y llenar, parece que les enviaron una encuesta, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes. Si no yes. la han llenado, yes. si no la han llenado aún, eh, eh, pues ahí está mi nombre completo para que lo busquen dentro de la, del formulario que les han enviado, por si se los piden. Y eh, si no lo han recibido, si no han recibido la encuesta, pueden contactar a alguien de administración en el chat de WhatsApp. Ahí aparecen con el logo de la, de la empresa de inglés corporativo y pues ya podrán completar la, la encuesta si se las envían. Ok. Eh, that's it. Good. ¿Alguien no ha terminado sus ejercicios hasta el midterm? Who's me? Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia, ok. Cualquier cosa y eso de la orden me puede escribir si tiene duda con algo, ok? Muchas gracias. Al estar realizando la, la evaluación de intermedio. Ok, good. Let's start today. Well, where were we? What was yesterday's topic? Uh, 
¿Qué fue lo que hicimos ayer? Ya se me olvidó. We had a conversation about the food. About the food, right? Shopping list. Shopping list. Uh -huh. Shopping list. Estamos any y some. Any and some. Very good. So when do you use some? Some. When? The sentence is a uh, Positive. Positive. Uh -huh. Ana Silvia? Affirmative. Affirmative. Yeah. Affirmative sentences. Just affirmative? Can I use it in questions? No. no. Any. Sometimes. Okay. What about negative in questions? Any. 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 Okay. Any. Let's see, Dora and Ana, Alicia. Ana Silvia. So, we, uh, participativas ahora me llega. so let's see. Give me an example. Give me an example of an affirmative, affirmative sentence. I need some different food. I need some different food. Yeah, that's valid. Ana Silvia? Um, I like to eat uh, some fruit. I like to eat some fruits. Okay, like mangoes, strawberries, very good. Someone else, another example, Laura Bertila. Teacher. Yes, Carolina? Podría ser, I need some new clothes. Clothes, Ropa? I need clothes. some new clothes. I need some new clothes. Yeah, why not? I... That sounds good. Santos? <clears throat> I like some coffee. I like some coffee. Uh, me gusta algún café. Me gusta... I like some coffee. You okay. need some pizza? I need some pizza. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, can I say I want to drink some of coffee? I want to drink some coffee. Some coffee. Uh -huh. Sin el off. Very good, Carlos. I want to drink some coffee. Okay, a question, somebody? Questions, Soraya? Yo, teacher, eh, podría repetir. Es que no escuché muy bien cuando se ocupaba el son y el any. Okay, eh, como has oído unos ejemplos positivas en afirmaciones, se ocupa son. Okay, y para negativas ocupamos any. So, Soraya, yeah. si digo I need some Hoy, hoy, Jeremías, si digo I need some coffee, ¿cuál sería el negativo? I need some coffee. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't. I don't need any coffee. Excellent. There you go. I don't need any coffee. Excellent. You see, Jeremías, and what would be the question, Hazel? Yes, yes, teacher. I got it. Repeat, I got it. I got, I got it. it. <laughs> Good. Hazel, how do you make a question? So I need some coffee. I don't need some coffee. Do you need any coffee? Do you need any coffee? Correct. I don't need any coffee. Do you need any coffee? Do you need coffee? Do you need any coffee? Okay. Questions? No? Okay. Good. Let's move on then. As a next topic, we have some more vocabulary. And I send you this to your WhatsApp already. But let's take a look really quick. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. 
rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Okay, so that's the first point. Okay. What do we have for breakfast? What do we usually have for breakfast? I have breakfast, egg. Uh, okay, repeat. I have for breakfast. I have for breakfast, egg. Huh? Eggs. Beans. Beans, yeah. Tortilla. Really? For breakfast, tortillas? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, fresh fruit. Fresh fruit, okay. And coffee with milk. With milk, not black, not black coffee, okay. What else, guys? What else do you have for breakfast? Teacher, Teacher. Good morning. I drink uh, orange juice. Orange juice. Uh huh. And I eat eggs and coffee. Eggs and coffee. Okay. Dania, thank you, Dora. Dania? Pancakes. Pancakes. Do you like pancakes for breakfast? Yes. Okay. What about you, um, Ernesto? Eh, teacher, pero podemos hacer nuestra lista personalizada. No yes, exactly. That's the point. That's what I'm doing right now. So pancakes. Do you like pancakes uh, for breakfast? So do, do you understand the question? Um, notice that we are not saying, do you eat? What do you eat for breakfast? No. When you use the, the meal times, when you use the meal times, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, you use have. I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner, I have brunch, brunch, okay? And when you ask, what do you have for breakfast? Is what do you eat? What do you eat for breakfast? Okay, good. What more? What other things do Salvadorians eat? Pupusas. Pupusas for breakfast. Yes, very good. What else? Tamales. Tamales, very good. What about rice with milk? Mm. Rice with milk? Uh, no. I don't like rice, rice with milk. Rice with milk. No. Milk is in the, in the evening. In the evening, too? Or yeah. lunch. Dinner. Or lunch. Yeah, that's good, too. So you can also vary the question. What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? Okay. So let, let me split the class. Make the question to your classmates. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? Okay, and get more vocabulary. No es necesario que ocupes específicamente esto que está en el cuadro. Puedes ocupar tu propia comida, ok? Ok. 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 So let's go. Let's make small groups and make the question. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Ok, let's go. Okay. Yes, that's I have for breakfast. Y lo que vos querrás. Uh -huh. 
I have platanes for breakfast. I have sandwiches for breakfast. Tea uh, with milk. I have what? Tea with milk? Yeah, with milk. Do you like tea with milk? No. No, you said tea, I'm sorry, or cereal. Cereal. Cereal, cereal. okay, milk with cereal. Yeah, or cereal, no, cereal with milk. Yeah, okay. Okay, Carolina, what do you have for breakfast? I have breakfast, uh, coffee, cheese, and egg, huevos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, so what do you have for breakfast? I have for breakfast cereal with milk. That's it. Okay. And you? And I have for breakfast beans, eggs, and protein. Now and you me? now you can continue playing. Like, how do you say platanos in English? How do you say I don't know? Uh, Frijoles revueltos, frijoles, ¿cómo más? Fritos. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo dijo que se decía frijoles borracho? <ríe> no, era, era una broma. Drunk, <ríe> drunk beans. Uh -huh. Tiene lógica, pero no creo que no esa es sea así. la manera. O sea, es como lo más apropiado. De hecho, creo que sería la única manera de decirlo. Drunk beans. Uh -huh. Frijoles borrachos. Matada, teacher. Oh, chopped tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Tomate picado. Mm -hmm. Chopped tomatoes. Y tortilla tostada, ¿cómo se dice? Hmm. Good. Toast tortilla. He escuchado a los americanos decir tortilla, tortilla más que tortilla. Oh my God, I don't know. What is requesón in English? Wow. That's a difficult word. ¿Y crema cómo sería? Cream. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, you say curd. Curd. C-U-R-D. Guajala o requesón. Curd. Oh, let's use the translator. Come on. Okay, keep going. I have to go to other classrooms, okay? Keep going. Okay. And beans with avocado and bread. Lionel, what do you have for breakfast? Um, my first thought is a uh, coffee and eggs. Quiero ver, um, frijoles, ¿cómo se dirá? No sé beans. Beans, okay. Uh, beans, um, eh, crema, no sé. Cream. Crema. Cream, okay. Yeah, um, cream. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I have for dinner um, tuna with salad, and sometimes I I eat chicken. Um, but I like to eat pupusas too. Pupusas are for Friday. I prefer mm -hmm. pupusas on Friday, one day, once a week, one but time a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, too many pupusas. That's bad. <laughs> Calories, teacher. Yeah, too much calories. La pupusa engorda. Yes. 
No, uno engorda. <laughs> Lo engordan a uno. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you say plátanos in English? Platanein, dijo usted, ¿o no? Platanes, ah, uh, platanes. Platanes. <laughs> How do you say requesón in English? Can you write? Oh, can I write it? Yeah, plat platanes, the way it sounds, platanes. I think that's the right spelling. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, plantain. There's an N in the middle. Oh my God, wait. Plantains. Plantains, plantain. There you go. Yeah, that's the way, plantain. Okay, uh, so how do you say requesón in English? No idea. You say curd. 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 And that means cuajada too. Okay. Aguacate. Okay. 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 How do you say huevo duros? <laughs> Okay, you say boiled, boiled eggs. Es que es huevos hervidos, no son, bueno, sí son duros, ¿verdad? pero en americanos de boiled eggs. ¿Y huevo frito? Eh. Es que huevo revuelto, no, nosotros le decimos huevo estrellado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, sería uh, fried eggs. Fried eggs. ¿Revueltos? Mix. Hmm. You say scrambled, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. Interesting. Now keep thinking. What else? What else do you eat? Keep going. Watermelon is and pink. Ana Lidia. Watermelon and beans? <laughs> it, no, really? It's breakfast. For the it's breakfast. breakfast. Watermelon and beans. <laughs> For the breakfast. <laughs> oh my God, no, don't do that. Uh huh. Ana Lidia, what do you have for lunch? Um, a spaghetti with cream. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dalia, do you like for breakfast? I eat in the breakfast um, um, pupusas and beans with cream. Platano, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, you say plantains, plantains. Plantains, thanks, teacher. Plantains and coffee. Plantains, mm -hmm. okay. And coffee and bread. Great. Teacher, hey. How do you say avena? Avena, you say oak. Um, bear with me one second. Yeah, it's oak. Let me double check. Oak. Oak is probably actually, wait. I remember. Yeah, I always forget that word. You say oat or oatmeal. Oat. Oat. Thank you, Peter. Yep. Oat. Oat. Yep, oatmeal. Oat. Oatmeal. Anna Lydia, what do you have for lunch? No, what do you have for di dinner? Uh, beans. Uh, dinner, Sena. Dinner. 
Dinner. Dinner. What do you have for dinner? Jeremias. Uh, I like it sounds with with cream and cheese. I like drink coffee. I like to drink with, with I like to drink coffee with milk. Perfect. Or or tea with Teacher, how, how do you say miel? Honey. In honey. With honey. Really? Tea with honey? I, yes. Okay, so Chinese. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. puede decirse, what do you have for that special lunch? For diet, um, what do you have for lunch or for? O sea, un día especial, pero un, o sea, oh. como que comes un día, un día especial en el almuerzo. So what do you have for a special day for lunch? What do you okay. have on a special day for lunch? What, what do you, do you have, have those? On a special those. day for lunch. On a special day for, okay. Good. Teacher, okay. what do you have for breakfast? I today I have for breakfast um, hamburgers, homemade hamburgers. hamburgers. Yep, homemade hamburgers. Yeah. Okay. Hamburguesas hecha en casa. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> homemade hamburgers. Good. Okay. 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 Let's go back so we can move on. Okay. Le tengo una consulta, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, como hay ciertas cosas que son como muy típicas de los países y que no se sabría cómo se dice en inglés. Eh, por ejemplo, whisky, pipianes, ejotes, ¿cómo se diría en inglés esas cosas? Solo lo dices. El problema viene, eh, bueno, la realidad es que tú describís esos objetos en inglés. So, for example, do you like, uh, so let's say that someone came to El Salvador, digamos que vino un americano a El Salvador, se va de regreso y tiene sus amigos latinos, Conoce un salvadoreño y le dice al salvadoreño, okay, did you try whiskeyles? Did you try whiskeyles? What are whiskeyles? It's a vegetable from El Salvador. It's green with, you know, sort of transparent inside. And it tastes, it tastes like, I don't know, it tastes like potato in some, like potatoes. Oh, whiskeyles. Yeah. O sea, tenés que describir el objeto, en este caso mencionar que es un vegetal, de qué está hecho, porque no es común allá, o no ah, existe. Así como en otros países hay ciertas frutas que no se conocen acá. Y por sin ejemplo, embargo nos han invadido, por ejemplo, el zucchini. Zucchini, no lo conozco. ¿En serio? Y se, es, primo, es primo de la calabaza. Sí. Se parece al pepino. Ah, en su forma se parece al pepino, Ernesto. Pero el pero sabor... Pero sabor se parece al pipián. Se parece bastante el pipián en el sabor. Lo he escuchado el... mencionar, de... pero no lo he... O sea, que no lo he visto, no lo he probado. Ya seguro ya que lo... ya lo debe haber comido. Ya ha ido, ya ha comido Chaomin del China Walk. Eh, ¿No? No, realmente de que como otras cosas cuando voy ahí. Pero una, vez probé, pero una vez probé algo parecido a una lechuga, que dicen que solo se da en la zona de Florida, en Estados Unidos, que se llama urrúgula. Es, como, ahí sí es me parecido perdió. como una, una lechuga, un poco parecido a una lechuga. Ajá, es que tipo de lechuga igual hay un montón. Entonces, sí, o sea, al final, eh, es más, hay, hay verduras o frutas que las conocen en otros países con otro nombre. 
No, es, Ok, es... pero vaya, por ejemplo, o como digamos unas verduras que son como muy comunes aquí, que, pero que no se conocerían en otras partes del mundo. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo diría camote? Algo, lo, lo, ya veo que es un camote, ¿verdad? Sí, sé que es un camote, pero me da risa la palabra. Pero así le dice. Ahí sí, El... sí existe. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Y tiene mucho sentido. Es sweet potato, es una papa dulce. Hasta la misma Ajá. textura agarra cuando vuelve la papa y el, y el, y el, y el camote. Con las muchas... pasternas. Entonces Uy. ocuparían el mismo nombre en, en, en inglés. La, la, vaya, la pregunta central sería, ¿ocuparían el mismo nombre en inglés en este caso? Mm -hmm. Sí, en ese caso, eh, si sabes que existe el nombre en inglés, sí. pues se ocupa. Si no, pues ocupas el nombre propio de, la, de, de lo que estás hablando. Pero no solo se da en el ejemplo de las comidas, chicos, sino hay muchas cosas, objetos incluso que no hay allá. Por ejemplo, a un americano decirle que si tiene un guacal, do you have a guacal? Like, what then? ¿Qué es el guacal? Te va a decir, oh, a bowl. Es una palabra indígena, Tisha. Sí, creo que sí. A bowl, te va a decir. A bowl. Yes. Un bowl, te va a decir. Mis primitos dicen, bañate con guacales. ¿no? Y es más complicado en el interior del país porque en Oriente al guacal le dicen paila. Paila, cierto. De hecho, hace poco fui a Walmart a comprar unas pailas. <risa> en serio, mi, mi hijo se quedó porque dice paila esto, papi. Me dice, ah, ni idea, le decía, ahora entiendo por qué. Es cuestión cultural. Yo soy de Oriente, pero pero no uso exactamente esa palabra, pero lo que sí entiendo yo es de que, vaya, para comenzar en Oriente, somos originarios de una raza in, indígena distinta. En Occidente, son originarios náhuatl, aquí somos de origen lenca, por lo menos lo poco que ha quedado de, de la genética, entonces, mucho tiene que ver también, por ejemplo, hasta cuando se burlan de nosotros, que dicen que hablamos como con un acento de la jota, y, pero lo que yo entiendo es de que, vaya, Guacal se le dice el que agarramos con, con agua. Uh -huh. eh, y, y paila creo que se le dice a, a otra cosa. Yo no, paila no le recuerdo. tenía los platitos para tomar el café. Los pequeñitos. Exactamente. exactamente. <ríe> ok, eh, okay eh, nos vemos por la tangente. Que es algo parecido con diseño distinto. Bien, me llega que aterricemos eso porque al final eh, sí es bueno y hagan lo mismo pero con la cultura americana. Irse acoplando bastante a eso, en los 52 estados que ¿Cuáles, ¿Cuáles tradiciones tienen? Porque ocurre lo mismo, ¿eh? El Thanksgiving, averigüen sobre Thanksgiving, el Día de Acción de Gracias. Es, es diferente la comida en diferentes estados. No varía. Como lo que vamos a ver ahorita, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Let's see what happens. So, we have a conversation now on the video. We're going to listen to it and then practice. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well... I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, so do you eat fish for breakfast? What do you think about fish for breakfast? Wakala. <laughs> How do you say wakala in English? <laughs> this this is in second grade. In second grade on kindergarten here, the kids say wakala all the time in in the States. So how do you say guacala? No idea? My song says Guacalation. you. That's the way. You say you. <laughs> you. Repeat you. 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 Okay. That's right. Okay. So let's see. Let see. Oh, yeah. I can move. Okay. Good. So let's review really quick. And repeat by yourself okay i'm gonna mute you really quick so this can be recorded okay and it says let's have breakfast 
together on Sunday. One more time. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. I repeat, a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? Really? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Interesting. Tr 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 interesting. That's interesting. Sometimes, sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I, but I, but I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. Okay, I need two volunteers that never talk. Alguien que nunca hable. Yo, Jeremías. Um, ah. <laughs> okay, Karina. Karen. Fatima, Blue Karina. Teacher. And who is my teacher? Yo, Kenya. Kenya and Fatima, Karina. Okay, then we choose two more, okay? Ready, Kenya and Karina? One, two, three, go. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My, fam my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really, what do you have? We usually, usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but, but I like to try new things. Okay, great job. Okay, repeat. You say soup. 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 Karina? Okay, soup. soup. Right? Soup. Look at the difference. You say soup or you say soap. 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 This is jabón, right? So it sounds like soup. No. Okay. Different writing. You say soup. 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 Okay. Soup. Eh, teacher. Hey. Compli Complicámoslo de que, por ejemplo, eh, no tiene que ver con comida, pero hay una palabra que, que para decir como novela o drama. Oh. O serie, su soup. Soap opera. Eh, yeah. ¿Cómo no confundir eh, esas, esas tres? Soap opera. No me acuerdo si bonito o okay. qué. Soap opera. Sí. Eh, novela. That's right. Soap opera. Ok. Uh, let's move on. Interesting. 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 Uh -huh. Solo quitas la, tec, la E que está en medio. Inte, no. Interesting. 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 Good. Ahí, very good. Next, you say break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Mi, mi recomendación es que las palabras que terminan en ST te enfoques en la S, en extender un poco la S y en el sonido final de la T. Ok, so Por ejemplo, repeat first. First. Mm. Breakfast. 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 
Ajá, ahí está el problema. Usualmente te vas a topar con el, el problema de pronunciación que vas a querer hacer la T antes de la S, porque tu cerebro está enfocado en que termina en T la palabra. ¿Ok? Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Allow me just one second, please. Permítanme un minuto. Ahorita regreso. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Interesting. 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 I am so sorry, but I had to stand up. Tuve que levantar, lo siento, pero llevamos una semana sin que pase el, el tren de aseo acá en mi colonia y tuve que salir a decirle a los niños que corran con lo poco que queda dentro de la casa porque estaba. Anyways, sorry guys. Okay. Okay, so I need two more volunteers. Let's focus. Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia. Jeremías. <laughs> okay. Jeremías, what do you think? Okay, Ana Silvia and Jeremías, let's go. Okay, Ana Silvia, Jeremías, one, two, three, action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style oh, yeah. breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? What do you have? We usually, we usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too, and we always. Well, I never eat for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent, very good. Okay, Jeremias, repeat soup. 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 Very good. And you say that's soup. interesting. Soup. That's interesting. Intre interesting. That's interesting. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to split you in groups so you can practice for 10 minutes and then we continue, okay? Good? Okay. Good. Smaller groups, smaller okay. groups. Okay, let's go. This is on your WhatsApp already. Yeah, yeah, see. Okay. okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. And you say try, try new try. things. Mm -hmm. Try new things. Excellent, very good. Okay, someone else. Okay. Now, Next. Laura and Laura and me. Okay, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, 
Uh, but I like to try new things. New things, things. Sin. Mm. New thing. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So you say, this is not allowing me to text. Oh, there it is, okay. So you say things. Why am I not able to? Oh, I cannot type for some reason. Give me one second. Okay, try it, um, Ernesto. Things. Think. Things. Things. Ahora hagamos el sonido ese al final. Things. Things. Aha, uh -huh. things. Very good. Things. Good. Things. Things. That's right. Okay. Next. Mary Abigail, Carlos. Uh, let's have the inicio. Uh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come um, to my house, my family house, and Japanese time breakfast on Sunday. Okay. Uh, really? What do you have? We it's well. We um, we surely have. Wally, turkey, rice, and chips. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Okay, we have um salad soup. Um, how much have we eaten? Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Good, Carlos. Good. Uh, good, Maris. Uh, you say, Carlos, you say together. Right. Together. Together. Mm -hmm. You say interesting. Interesting. Good. Okay. And Maris, okay. you say always. Always. Meris, como tiene las manos libres, eh, si se acerca un poco el micrófono, se va a escuchar mejor. Ahí, ajá, por ahí. Ajá. ajá. Eh, hoy sí. <ríe> Good. Ok. Sorry. It's ok. Usually. Usually. Ajá. Usually. 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 There you go. Usually. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y al final es, uh, se puede decir, but I like to try new things. 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 Sí, ajá, things. Así como está escrito ahí en rojo, con mm. Z. Things. I am. Good. Things. 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 Cosas. Ah, things. Things. Very good. Okay, do it again. One more time. Eh, Leonel, si gusta, comience. Yo voy a segundo. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. New things. Okay. ¿Quién no va a practicar? Hoy, hoy ustedes al contrario de lo que le hicieron. Bueno, voy a hacer Sara entonces. Uh -huh. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Well, usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat 
fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Perfect. Just the word interesting. 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 Uh -huh. El estrés está en la primera sílaba. In. Interesting. In. In. Interesting. Tre. Y luego decimos tre, tre, tre. Interesting. There you go. Interesting. Good. Okay. Do it one more time and we're done. Thank you. Bye. Chico, hoy empieza Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's in that is interesting. interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Will I never eat fish for breakfast, uh, but I like to try new things. Thanks. Okay, good job. Okay, let's see. Repeat. Style. A style. Mm. No hay una E antes de la S. Vamos a ver. It's uh -uh. Style. Unir los dientes, Carolina. Sí. 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 Ah, oíme, uní los dientes y hacele Solo sopla el aire Sopla el aire, ¿cómo se sopla el aire? Baila. Solo so... saca aire de la boca <risa> Ok Style. Este sonido es importantísimo Porque Style. muchas palabras Empiezan con S en, esta... en, en inglés En español no tenemos palabras Que empiecen en, en, con S Sí, es teacher, es sprite No <risa> Okay, repeat. Student. 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 Stay. 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 Stop. Stay. Stay. Stop. 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 Style. 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 Ahí, perfecto. Y sí, Carolina. Style. Okay. Let's see. Next, break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Enfócate en ese. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Okay, quiero que digas, Carolina. Break fast. Break fast. Ahora pongámosle la T al final. T, t, t. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Better. Break okay. Fast. Ok, extendamos la S, breakfast. Quiero que veas el video después, ok, de la clase y veas la, la parte de la lectura, ok? Para repetir, okay. repetir. Luego okay. de, teni tenemos interesting, interesting. Interesting. Good. Santos, interesting. Yes. Repeat. No. Interesting. Interesting. Better. Let's see, Susana Paola. Interesting. Good. Lady Julissa. Interesting. Perfect. Next, uh, you say well, Carolina. Well. 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 Cada vez que veas una W, son dos U juntas. Well. 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 Okay. Ahí. Okay. Things. Y aquí eh, a todos les están dando problemas esas palabras. Están diciendo things. Things. Es una Z. ¿Ok? Una Z. Things. ¿Sí? Things. Things. Miren el chat. Things. 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 Así tal cual te lo he escrito en el chat. Things. 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 Uh -huh. There you go. Things. Ok. Good job, guys. Let's go back. Okay. 
Okay, guys. So, practice. Tienen que practicar eh, la pronunciación. Así como yo se los he pronunciado eh, durante la clase, les recomiendo que vuelvan a ver el video. Busquen esa parte en la que les eh, me acerco yo a la cámara. Fíjate cómo articulo con mi boca tan fea y trata de imitar, <risa> imitar cada movimiento de los labios. ¿Ok? Eh, la... Sí, los labios, eh, como artículo cada palabra, ¿no? Eso es importante. Si sí han notado que varios están teniendo problemas con ciertas palabras de esta lectura, que son palabras sencillas. Ok, for example, you say together. Together. Ok, you say Sunday. 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 Mm -hmm. You say always. Esto sí puede ser una nueva palabra para la mayoría. Always. Mañana, mañana lo vamos a ver los adverbios de frecuencia. Always. Always. Ok. You say Japanese. 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 Ahora, estos Japanese. dos sonidos los unís porque la palabra Japanese, Japanese termina en sonido S. Japanese termina en sonido style. S. Entonces, style. Japanese style. Japanese style. Japanese style. Japanese style. Japanese style. Japanese. Style. Para corregir eso de la S, les invito a que por el resto del día anden, anden haciendo esto, haciéndole, uniendo sus dientes y haciéndole. Okay. Te va a dar risa, pero sí, es muy importante. No tenemos palabras en el español que empiecen con S. Ok. Ni siquiera spaghetti empieza con S en el español, empieza con E. Entonces es importante. Hay demasiadas palabras que empiezan con S en inglés. Ok. No llevan una E al principio. So, let's take your picture. Please turn on your cameras if you can. Ok. Mary Abigail, Doralicia, please. Okay, there we go. So let me take the picture of you guys. Okay, one. Yeah. And let me do the second screenshot. Just a minute. Okay, smile. Thank you. Now let's do the attendance. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodríguez Osorio. Thank you. Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Present. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present, teacher. Dani Angélica Merlos Valle. Present. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet, Ayala Acosta. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Thank you. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Thank you. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Present. Thank you. José Mario Hernández Santos. Por ahí te vi, José Mario. Sí, ya te, ya te vi, ahí estamos, muy bien. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo, que me parece que se tuvo que desconectar. Karen Stephanie Arguete Escobar. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Teacher. Thank you. Kenia Celina Castillo Franco. Present. Ken, ok, thank you. Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Present. Laura Carolina Mengíbar Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Present. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Present. Estaba también. Ok. Mary Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Present teacher. 
Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Present teacher. Okay, thank you guys for being with me tonight, today. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. again, okay? Bye-bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Adios. Thank you.